Good morning. We are at Dragon Hill Spa, which is arguably the most famous Jim Jilbong in Seoul, but I have never been in all my time living here. So today is the day. We start together, all our dragon. We finished our baths and now we are in the restaurant eating overpriced, not very good food. And then we're gonna hit the room, so catch you then. This room did not feel like negative 17 to me at all. Don't bring your phone. Why? It could explode. Apparently you shouldn't take your phone in the pyramid room because it will quote unquote explode. So we aren't going in, we're finding another place. <laughs> So we didn't do everything but we still stayed for like two and a half hours about because someone fell asleep pretty hard in the Hinoki Pine Room and now we're gonna go to a, a cafe that I've already taken you guys to but we really want to see that dog again and they're like the only cafe that's open in Korea on this holiday so we're gonna go hunt for dogs let's go what? Kurt and I just went to the Jim Jilbang Jim Jilbang Jim Jilbang. Jim and we drank she, she, she gay, she, K. Are you cut he, this off? No, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just say it.
So we're currently walking around the area near which women's university? Suk. Suk. Suk Myung. And there are so many waffle shops. And Kurt says it's because women love waffles. Don't say that. And I remember the video. <laughs> but it's this. true. But it's true. <laughs> And suddenly we're in Myeongdong. Hey, we observe a soul taram in their natural habitat. Lost. So if you ever get lost in Myeongdong looking for something, don't beat yourself up because this man who has been living in Seoul for 25 years is also lost. So you're doing fine. My neighbor map sucks. Wait, wait. Hi guys, so uh, yeah, my phone just died. So uh, sorry that the ending was a little bit weird. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Jim Zubang because I wasn't allowed to obviously film the first bit. You pay, you walk in, you put your shoes in a locker, then um, for women, you take the elevator up to the third floor. You're given your clothes um, in the beginning and that's where you get your locker and you can change into your clothes and just go, like typically you should take a shower, but if you really are uncomfortable about being naked, um, you can just put on the like pajama things that they gave you and go straight back down to the first floor and do all those rooms that I showed you. If you do want to use the baths, which I highly suggest, that is when you kind of put all of your clothes into the locker and then they give you towels as well. So bring your towels. You go down the stairs into the sauna and it's woman only. Like there is no way that a man would accidentally wander in there. Like it's completely sealed off. So if you're worried about that, you're good. Um, and yeah, you just walk down and when you walk in right to your right, are showers with bars of soap and that is where you should really scrub yourself down use the soap shower 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 before you get into the baths um and then yeah there's just a bunch of baths to choose from when i got there the the shower part that was filled with a lot of um like women and their families like little children but the baths were i had two of the three baths that I used. When I was in them, I had them completely to myself. And then I did the salt sauna. There were a bunch of other baths and there were like baths outside as well. But um, I knew that Kurt wasn't gonna soak for a really long time. So I just kind of did the ones I really wanted to do and then left. Um, everything is written out in English if you're wondering like what's in the baths. And then they give you kind of a suggested way to do it like you should shower and then you should do this one and then you should like take a break or like do this dragon hill is very famous with tourists um actually most of the people who were there that day were like chinese tourists so they're very friendly as far as like if you can't speak korean um they have a lot of information posted and like they're used to people not really being 100 percent sure um what to do other things there were women of absolutely all body types, all ages, everything there. Um, the first person I saw when I walked in was a like white foreign girl my age. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a big mix of people. Like everybody, like I said, everyone's different sizes. I don't shave my legs ever. Nobody could even see. No one got, no one got close to me. Like I wasn't near anyone. I know if you are uncomfortable with your body, like no amount of me telling you that it's okay will make it be okay for you, but just please in the back of your head, like just know that nobody is looking at you and like really all body sizes were represented. Um, they had clothes, they have different size clothing, like they have a kind of like one size fits all and then they have one that's like a larger size, like a larger one size fits all. 
anyway, so I have um, my, my ankle tattoo you can't really see, but my back tattoo is very visible. Um, no one said anything about that. I saw many girls with tattoos. I saw many guys with tattoos once we were up in the, the rooms. So yeah, tattoos don't seem to be a problem unless you have like maybe a full sleeve, but even then I don't really think they would say anything to you. Um, I saw a girl with like a huge leg tattoo and she, it was whatever. So yeah, um, if you are interested in trying a Jum Jabong for the first time, um, Dragon Hill is a good one just because it's a it's a good one for foreigners. So Nam De Moon Market was totally deserted because it's a holiday. And so I bought this shirt and she was super nice and gave me a discount. I just think it's so corny and funny. I don't know if there is a hard rock in Seoul, but I got this for $4, so that's okay. Yeah, so I'm going to sign off now. Thank you for joining me on a very lazy day. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? Okay, I am going to go to sleep now. It has been a wonderful day, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!